So if we put this all into practice now into an actual industrial process, so we've got the harbour process back on the board there, and we're going to use everything we've learned about Le Chatelier's principle in this video to come up with the ideal conditions for the maximum yield of ammonia. So in other words, we want conditions that will favour the forwards reaction and give us lots of product. So we'll start with pressure. So what kind of a pressure will give us lots of product? Which pressure would favour the forwards reaction? And remember that's all about the number of moles. So we've got four moles on the left, one mole of nitrogen, three moles of hydrogen versus two moles of ammonia. So what kind of a pressure favours the smaller side? And it's a high pressure. If we look at temperature now, what kind of a temperature will favour the exothermic reaction? Remember the forwards reaction is this enthalpy change here that's given. So we can see that's negative. This is exothermic. So what kind of a temperature? It's a low temperature would favour the exothermic process. Now, there's a problem with these conditions. If we deal with the high pressure first, high pressures are very, very dangerous. So that's going to cause problems. And the other problem is the low temperature would mean that the rate would be very, very low. So yes, you, in theory, will get lots of product, but it will take too long. So in reality they don't actually use these conditions, they don't use a high pressure because it's it's too dangerous and so they settle on a pressure of 200 atmospheres, so that's 200 times atmospheric pressure. So they bring the pressure down to make the process safer. The low temperature isn't favoured because it would be too slow and so they increase the rate of the reaction and therefore they would use a temperature in between this range, 400 to 500 degrees Celsius. They also put in an iron catalyst which obviously lowers the activation energy and would help speed the reaction up even more. Now these conditions in orange are what are referred to as compromise conditions because with this lower pressure they are not going to get as high a yield of ammonia because the lower pressure will favour the side with the most moles. The high temperature isn't going to favour the forwards reaction. It's actually going to favour the reverse reaction. But it will proceed at a higher rate. So therefore they are compromising on the yield. They won't get as much product but they'll be able to make the product that they do get in a much quicker time frame. And so these are known as compromise conditions. With these compromise conditions, the yield is only about 15%. And so there'd be a lot of unreacted nitrogen and hydrogen in the system. And all they would do is recycle that back through and do the process again and again and again. 